right, guys, come on in. Welcome to Reading Partners. Great. So, Abraham, you're working with Miss Lynn and Delilah. Go ahead, Danielle, and let's come this way. Come on, Carolyn. Great. Keep going. And you, Cuba, you can sit with Miss Maris right there. What book did you pick? The foot book. Foot book. And what do you think it's about? Um, Different Guys of Foot. Different Guys of Foot. Good. And who's the author? Dr. Seuss. I'm guessing you read a lot of his books? Yes. Okay. I read Great Nights in Ham. I think I saw it on Mulberry Street. Feet in the morning, feet at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. How many, many feet you meet? So what are they talking about so far in the book? Mm, feet. What kind of feet have we seen so far? Uh, and you are in the book. I so. see duck feet. Duck feet? Duck feet. What color are they? Red. Okay, time to read. Most bats love to eat insects. They catch bugs with their mouth or wings. Ooh, can you imagine catching a bug with your wings? Okay, the main topic of the text is? About bats. Okay. Just put well, bats. The topic is bats. Safekeeping. So what do you think this book's about? What's the topic? Sea turtles. Okay. It's Good. about turtles. Okay, you got it. Let me see the book that you picked. So that's a cool book. Yep. He's a famous author, Dr. Zeus. This book is called The Foot, the book, foot by book by Dr. Seuss. By Dr. Seuss. Small feet, big, big feet. feet. Here, Here come pig feet. feet. So take a look at this word. This word rust. Rust said. You know what rust means? Rust? Yeah, if something is gets rusty, it rusts. You know what that means? Nasty. Yeah, a little nasty, a little old, a little rusty. So it gets old and when discolored. Dust. Okay, Delilah, are you ready? Are you ready for these words? So we have, can you say this one? Fire. That's right. And this one? Fine. Fight, that's right. Like your, and now like this word fight. is going to be long, but it's actually putting them together. Can you say this word? Fire. So fire fight. E -E and it's vertical. Can you say it? Vertical. Vertical. Do you remember what it means? Yeah, like something straight. Something straight up and down, right? He likes many, he likes all these people that live next door. Yes, okay, I like that inference. So what evidence can we come up with that? He From the text? Ms. Gordon, who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hoskins, who told him scary stories. Right. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Nan Michelle, who walked with the wooden stick. And he liked, and he admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. Right, so I love that you were able to reread all these sentences very fluently. Really good job. Who's like, who's crazy about cricket? When we say someone's crazy about cricket, what does that mean? Mm, like if I, I know said, it's a metaphor, but like what if I said to you, I'm crazy about playing video games. I play video games. You love video every games. Single day. I love video games, right? So he loves cricket. So he loves playing cricket, right? Okay, Kevin, are you ready to pick a take reading book home? Mm, sure. Okay, let's look through. What looks interesting to you? Mm. Let's see if we can find anything that's good. Learning to live here. Mm. Mm. What do you think this book might be about? Probably about how, from the illustration in the front. Ooh, I friends. love the word illustration. Good job. That's a great place to stop. What do you think? Do you think this book is too easy, just right, or too hard? I think it's just right. Me too, I think it's just right. Okay, so I'm gonna give you this worksheet on summarizing since this is what we talked about in our lesson. So remember that you're gonna take this book home and then you're gonna fill in your worksheet and then bring it back, bring back the worksheet and then you keep the book, okay? So you can get a star. Over there. Right.
right over there. Great job, Kevin.